welcome all in this lecture we are going to discuss about the polar plot important parameters so let us discuss about the first parameter that is gain crossover frequency so the gain crossover frequency is defined as a frequency at which the gain crosses unit magnitude and moving on to the second parameter that is phase crossover frequency phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which the phase angle first reaches minus 180 degree so let us understand these two terms by the help of polar plot so this is our imaginary axis that is j omega axis this is our real axis that is sigma axis this is 0 degree or we can say that 360 degree this is 90 degree or minus 270 degree this is plus 180 degree or minus 180 degree this can be termed as plus 270 degree or minus 90 degree so we placed all the positive as well as the negative angle onto this all the four quadrants after this let us assume that this is our polar plot so our polar plot will start from origin at the frequency omega equals to 0 and it ends at omega equals to infinite since we studied in the previous lecture that the value of omega always lies between 0 to infinite that's why the polar plot always starts from the frequency that is omega equals to 0 and always ends at the frequency that is omega equals to infinite let's assume that this is minus 1 and here minus 1 is acting as a critical point let us first draw a unit circle by taking a critical point as a reference so our unit circle will look like this this is our unit circle so according to the gain margin the frequency at which it crosses the unit magnitude is known as gain crossover frequency so this is our unit circle and the polar plot is crossing this unit circle at this frequency so the value of omega at this point will serve as a gain crossover frequency this is the meaning of this definition the value of the omega at this point will serve as a gain crossover frequency let's understand phase crossover frequency according to the phase crossover frequency it is a frequency at which the phase angle first reaches minus 180 degree so here is the minus 180 degree that lies on the real axis and our polar plot is also intersecting this real axis that is minus 180 degree so the frequency at, or the value of omega at which our polar plot is intersecting this real axis at an angle minus 180 degree is nothing but a phase crossover frequency so the value of omega at this point will serve as a phase crossover frequency So this is all about phase crossover frequency. Let's suppose it is a distance between the origin at 0 and this point at which our polar plot is intersecting minus 180 degree on the real axis. And let's term this uh, distance as A. So 
there is one another important term that is gain margin and gain margin can be evaluated by the formula 20 log of 1 over a here a is nothing but a distance between origin and the point on the real axis at which the phase crossover frequency lies here is one another important term that is phase margin so how to determine the phase margin to determining a phase margin we have to draw a line from the gain crossover frequency towards the origin so we are drawing a line that points towards the origin starting from the gain crossover frequency and we have to measure an angle in the anti-clockwise direction that is in this direction this is an anti-clockwise direction so the angle in the anti-clockwise direction is nothing but a phase margin so this is the phase margin this angle will serve as a phase margin so these are the four important parameters associated with polar plot thank you